What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Cultureverse. If you don't know what Cultureverse is, it is a podcast about all things pop culture. We'll be telling you about movies, shows, games, giving you reviews, and telling you about the news that will be coming up and just our thoughts on things. I am your host, Caden, and this is my co-host, Matia. Say what's up, Matia. What up, boys? So we're really just going to get right into it. Um, our first topic is we have Creed 3. We both went to go see the movie, and we both have gathered our opinions on the movie. Matia, I'm going to let you go first. What do you think? Me personally, uh, it definitely was not my favorite Creed. Uh, mm -hmm. I got to give it a nice, like, probably like 6, six out of 10, 7 out of 10. I don't know. I, <coughs> I, I love the fighting. Don't get me wrong. The fighting was amazing, especially mm -hmm. like, the little Dragon Ball Z references they had in there. I thought that was dope. But uh, I don't know. Story-wise, I couldn't like, really get attached to it. I didn't really care for like all the side characters. I like Jonathan Majors. He was he was menacing. Oh yeah, he was crazy. He was menacing. <laughs> that guy is a villain. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'd be scared to meet him in real life. I don't, I don't know about you. <laughs> I'd be terrified. I don't want to say the wrong thing to him. Oh, yeah, he yeah, he got he got big for this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. that yeah that you've also seen Ant Man three. Yeah, he also, yeah, yeah, he got big for that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, he's huge. But uh, personally, I, don't know, I felt like there was a big hole in the plot since the first mm -hmm. Creed movie. We saw, you know, uh, what was his name? Adonis's. We saw Adonis's entire backstory in the first movie. Yep. But then the third movie, I think we and you already talked about this. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the third movie, we see there was basically another, like, little backstory references to Jonathan Major's character, who obviously played a big role in his life. But they kind of just let that out in the first movie. Personally, mm -hmm. if I would, if I wrote the movie, I would, <laughs> <laughs> I would have put that part in the first movie too, and let that sit with the audience, and then basically have them completely forget it until the third movie, and then bring him back. It's like, oh wow, like I totally forgot this guy was like, you know, a part of the Don's mm -hmm. like backstory. His childhood was like his best friend growing up, and now he's back for the championship title. Yeah. Like, like. That's great writing right there. Yeah. Personally, like in my opinion, like that that's that's great. Well, how how did you like it though? To be honest, I loved it. Um I, I will say though what we have to keep in mind is that um two different people wrote like so like Michael B. Jordan and someone else did Creed three. But like and then like other people did the first Creed, so I'm not really sure they even thought about that. But I do agree if that would have happened then it would have been so much better. Yeah. But I, I actually <clears throat> I actually really liked it. Um I personally liked the story a lot. Um, although yeah, they kinda should have brought some things from the first one. I do think that there was a lot that came with the movie when it came to messages or just like what was given to us. Like Jonathan Majors he did great, incredible actor. Yeah. He's gonna be He's on the up and up for oh, sure. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Um just his him and Michael B. Jordan's chemistry I think was really good, which is why it kept the movie as good as it was. Yeah. Um as you said, Jonathan Majors is a scary boy. I <laughs> terrified. Yeah. Um and just his acting in the moving movie was and, and Michael yeah. B. Jordan, it was it was incredible. Was well, Michael B. Jordan just in general is a great actor. Oh yeah, yeah, I, oh, I, yeah. I love him. And that was his directing debut, actually. Really, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I thought he directed sure. like the first like two. Also, I didn't know until he recently just told. Until yeah. he literally just told me that he didn't write or directed it because what the first one was made in 2015, and the second one I think was 2018, <coughs> I think and then. So. Now, this one, 2023. Yeah. Another thing I also really liked about the movie is, you know how in the end, when they were fighting for the championship title, mm -hmm. uh, you know how they get the, the crowd in the background just disappeared? Yeah. So you yeah. could really feel like the, like it was really just them there. Yeah. You could, it was really them just duking it out. You know, mm -hmm. like It was like kind of just like personal beef. It's like, I don't want to say like setting a record, but kind of letting the other, like, know, like, mm -hmm. who's the champion? Like, exactly. like, who's the boss? Like, who's on top? Exactly. Which was nice. And there's and Michael B. Jordan. Um, I'm not sure if many of you all know that he is a big anime fan. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I I, uh, I saw that interview. Yeah, and yeah. I don't want to give up what what uh, he he put some references in the movie. I don't want to say exactly what they were. I want you to experience them for yourselves and see if you'll catch them. Um, but there are some pretty good references in there that really had me really hyped. Yeah, I know. Same. I was going crazy because like I saw the movie around like. 10 ish, 10 10. Mm -hmm. It was our show time. Mm -hmm. yep. And one of the references I think came in like an hour and a half, or almost yep. two hours into the Or no, yeah, hour and a half into the movie, so more towards the end. Yep. I was like, oh, I'm like, that's from this. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is sweet. Exactly. I was, I was <laughs> yeah. um The soundtrack, I think, was great. Very, oh, yeah, yeah. Very good. Especially with, like, with me when I watch movies, I always focus on the soundtrack. So do I. Because I. 
I just thought because it sets the whole tone for the movie. Like exactly. when I watched Interstellar for the first time, <clears throat> mm. hearing that piano when they were driving through the cornfield mm-hmm. was was nuts. It was insane. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, this is majestic. Oh, I'm yeah. like, this has me floating. Like, Soundtrack is, is 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 big. It's yeah. really big. Um, but overall, I really think that the movie was. I, I liked it a lot. I for so far, I'm not gonna say it will be, but so far, favorite movie of the year. We have obviously some other things coming yeah. up for this year. Um, but uh, yeah, I know you said you wanted to talk about the UFC fight. Yeah, well. John Jones. So yeah, yeah uh, <coughs> what was that? Now like two two weeks ago, two three weeks ago, I something so. like that. So uh, me and my friends watched it. So me and one of my friends arrived to my other friend's house around eight, and we sat through four hours of preliminaries. I think they're called like no yeah. pre fights. Yeah, just for John Jones when he comes back to make his debut. Mm-hmm. Knocks the guy out in 30 seconds. I even knocked him. He puts him in some visible. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm like, my friend, uh, my friend, he bet on the game. So he was happy that John Jones won. Right. But me and my other friends, like, wow. We just, it's like one in the morning now. We just sat for four or five hours just to watch John Jones do that in 30 seconds. I was kind of mad. I'm not going to lie. I was driving back. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, wow. I'm like, I stayed up for this. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm exhausted. I'm like, this is what I stayed up for. I, I was. I was pretty mad, but hey, I think we had, we had a snow day uh, the night before on Friday, so yeah, yeah that was a good day. Too much time, yeah. yeah it was a good day, but yeah. yeah, I mean that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah. Um, Did you uh, watch it by chance, or are you a big nah. UFC guy? No, I'm not really much of a UFC guy. So when I watch it, I only watch like the big fights, like when they mm-hmm. come back, you know, like watching like Conor McGregor or Khabib yeah. or you know, something yeah. like that. It's like those are legends, man. You mm-hmm. you gotta watch. Oh yeah, of yeah. course, of course. I mean, I'll check it out every once in a while. Yeah, know? same, same. It's um, not like I, 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 I keep up with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's that's our first topic. Yeah, first topic. Know? So, topic two, Marvel yeah, and Marvel DC and projects. Do you want to start with Marvel or DC first? Well, we can start off with um, we can start off with Marvel. You Marvel. Know, let's talk about how, how they're doing right now. Yeah. You know? It, uh, it's all right. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little less than all right. I'm not going to lie. I've been pretty disappointed. Ever since Spider-Man No Way Home, Mm-hmm. I've kind of been on a bit of a decline. Yeah, because uh, Loki was good. Loki was I, good. I like Loki a lot. I like Moon Knight too. Which Moon, Moonlight, Moon Knight got like kind of like a lot of hate. I didn't really like it, them. I, it, it did get a lot of hate. Yeah, but I thought it was dope. I liked, yeah, I loved it. Oscar Isaac. He's uh, a great actor. Great actor. Phenomenal. Hundred um, percent. There was this other movie I recently watched with him. But no, he's just a great actor in general. So when I heard he got cast as Moon Knight, mm-hmm. I knew that he could play all three of the personalities that Moon Knight has. I exactly. knew that he had that acting range. Yeah. So I was excited to see that. But uh, I don't know, did you watch Ant-Man 3? I did, and I actually I liked it for what it was. I think it's a very overhated movie because, you know, a lot of Marvel fans really expect groundbreaking, earth-shattering yeah. things. Like, but oh my God, this is nuts. Exactly. But, yeah. but to be honest, I liked it for what it was. What it was was... A movie to set up and explain how powerful and how crazy Kang is, and how much of a th- like those set up movies. You're supposed to leave a set up movie thinking, okay, he's going to be a problem in the yeah. future. Like now we know what he's capable of, exactly. and we've only seen like a portion of his yeah, power. Yeah, just a little. Because yeah, I think he was still trapped in the quantum realm, and he, you know, we he didn't conquered see, it, and he conquered it. <laughs> that's just the, yeah, it is Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. Exactly, that's what but, I'm uh, saying. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Uh, with Marvel for me, after the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, mm. I kind of thought, I didn't I I really like John Krasinski, Krasinski as a uh, Mister Fantastic. Oh, I thought that man. was amazing. Now how they brought back Patrick Stewart for Charles Xavier, yeah. I was going crazy. The I was going like, crazy go. too. I was I was so, geek because you know yeah. I love John Krasinski from The Office. Um, oh yeah, yeah. He, uh, he directed The Quiet Place. Too. Yeah, he directed that was, The Quiet that's Place. A great horror movie. He's a Both good director. Yeah, no, he is. Like, I'm surprised he's not getting like more talked about. To be honest, like. Oh, yeah. Those are some pretty peak movies. I'm he's not made lie. some good movies. He's directed a, a Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan um, show. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, I heard about that. I didn't get a chance to watch that. What's called the only thing Tom Clancy's I know is Rainbow Six. <laughs> 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 I, know. I can't do too well in that game. Though, I swear to God, all, it's, every time I play, all my friends got to carry me. I, <laughs> I'll be lucky if I get like you know two or three, right. like, but I'll still be on like three and six. I'm like, yes, let's go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I mean. I think that this is one of the better Marvel movies, in my opinion. Obviously, I'm sure. I guess that would be a hot take nowadays because, as you said, No oh, Way yeah. Home, after that, kind of went on decline. I, I will say I have enjoyed all of the shows so far a yeah. bit more than others have. Movies, I'll say this. All right. Multiverse of Madness. I'm going to just a short brief. 
Multiverse of Madness, in my opinion, wasted potential. It wasn't oh, much yeah. of a multiverse oh God, of madness. Yeah. You know, because like we get, we did get to see other multiverses, exactly. But we really only focused on that one where the Illuminati was a thing. Yeah. Where you saw like how, and like when Wanda came in, mm -hmm. I was. It was kind of dark for a Marvel movie. I'm it not was, gonna lie. Which I was is like, good. It yeah, which good is thing. good. I liked. I was like, <gasps> like, it, like when Wanda um, did that thing to Black Bolt, yeah, like, closed off his mouth. Yep. I was like, oh my god, that was I'm crazy. Like, crazy. I'm like. Um, I think Marvel is more, they are more being more lenient towards that now. Because yeah. I remember the first time they actually did that was Falcon and Winter Soldier. John Walker um, was using his shield to like, oh, the guy. yeah, yeah. And, was, you know, there was blood on the guy. shield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and that was, that was crazy. Yeah. But um, Multiverse of Madness, I think, was a waste of potential. I'm sure that we could both agree on that. Um, what else? We had Thor Love and Thunder. Personally, I thought it was a fun watch. It wasn't necessarily yeah, it wasn't like a necessarily good great. movie. But I feel it like it was a waste of Christian Bale's potential, though. He, Christian Bale is easily one of my top three favorite actors. That's valid. That was, that is valid. <laughs> 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 Christian Bale is amazing. Oh, yeah. I have not seen a bad movie with that guy, especially when he did The Dark Knight. Yeah. Great movies, right? That's mm -hmm. a great movie trilogy. But, uh, I did feel like it was wasted potential as him being, you know, Gore the God Butcher. Yeah. We didn't really see him butcher many gods. Yeah, that, that, but, uh, that sucked. You know? Yeah, which yeah, which did kind of suck. But his acting that was phenomenal. It was terrifying. Like, the way, you know, how, like, he took all the kids from Asgard. Yeah. And then when Thor and uh, Jane went to go confront him and Valkyrie, mm -hmm. how he got them locked up so yep. fast. And he was literally, like, pulling on their weaknesses when he was telling Jane, like, you know, like, we know, like, you, like, you're dying of cancer, and you turn to the gods, and look how they treat you. Exactly. And he does the same thing to Valkyrie, same thing to Thor, and I was like, wow, like, mm -hmm. this guy's, like, he's throwing straight hands, like, verbally and physically. Yeah, he he did the best with what he got. Yeah. I, I, he said he I still found him back. terrifying. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He I said still found him very back. terrifying. Like, I was like, this is probably, like, I have, I got chills. I usually, like, Marvel villains, you don't really see as terrifying there. Yeah. But he was, he was a scary yeah. guy still. Especially um, for only being in one movie. Exactly. Only, like, 30 minutes of that movie. I think mm -hmm. it got screen time. I think the movie's, like, two hours. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was a fun watch. Not the best. But yeah, not the watch. best. Especially the ending. I didn't like how he gave, like, like, when he freed the kids, how he gave his powers to the kids. I thought that, that didn't make of, much sense. Yeah, I thought it was kind but of But it was, it was adorable. Was it? It was yeah, adorable. yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, Black Panther. I thought it was an all right movie. I, li I like that they paid tribute to Chadwick. Rest in peace. Yeah. Um, it, I, I did think the tribute to him was very beautiful. I haven't seen that yet, but I heard it was great, especially Namor. I think that's oh, how you, yeah. I think that's how you yep. say his name. Yep. I heard he was a great villain, terrifying. Yes. He was, yeah, he I've seen very some good clips villain. of him. He, he looks nuts. Oh, yeah, he's, he's yeah. Really, he did really good. Um, and, you know, he's obviously staying in Marvel because he plays a, such a big part in Marvel because I don't know if they're going to do uh, our Earth Illuminati um, because he is part of that Illuminati in the comics, but yeah, I'm not yeah. really sure how they... Kevin Feige likes to do things differently. Yeah, who, yeah, you know? who knows now? Um, yeah, but it, it wasn't It was alright. How do you feel about Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine for Deadpool 3, though? I can't I'm wait for it. that. I'm with it because, like, you know, at first I was like, I don't want it because I, I tried it because of Logan. It was a yeah. great send-off, but Logan, oh my, that was, was a different great universe. great ending for him, oh, yeah. yeah. But then again, we have to remember different universe yeah. or different Earth, you know. So it's good that he's coming back, and I'm pretty sure he's getting the comic-accurate hair. Oh, really? Yeah. I hope he gets the comic-accurate suit because we got to I see think it is, in, yeah. the, in the X-Men movie, like mm -hmm. one of the first ones. It was like literally like the ending scene. Yep. I was like, oh, cool, he's getting that, and then we he never saw get. it again. Yeah, no. Um, so I hope he gets that. I'm pretty sure that he is getting it. I'm very excited for that. Yeah. Um, I I like that he's coming back. It's cool. And uh, he, him and Ryan Reynolds have a very good... Great chemistry. Oh, yeah. Great chemistry. Yeah. They're like the best of friends. Yeah. Which is, which is good. <laughs> yeah. you know? I feel like with Ryan Reynolds, anyone can be friends with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, it's, yeah. it's hard to hate that guy. Yeah, it really is. Honest. Yeah. He's, he just seems like such a good guy. Yeah. Um, And, you know, we're getting... Oh, actually... Little side note: um, Deadpool three, where there actually might be a PG thirteen version as well. Oh wow! Because I know Kevin uh, Feige. Feige. I was yep. about to say Feige. I was <laughs> Kevin Feige. But yeah, Kevin Feige. Um, he said this will be Marvel's first rated R movie, which yes, I'm will. excited to see how that turns out. Mm -hmm. I got high hopes for it, but I'm also not putting them too high, mm -hmm. just in case. You know, maybe they do actually screw it up a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you can, especially yeah. with Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. There's no way you can. Especially since they're letting it be rated R, which is a, yeah. um, be, may, letting it be rated R is actually a very big step. Yeah. You know, because um, 
we'll have Daredevil coming. Punish the guy who's playing Punisher. Got John coming Byrne back. back. Exactly. I love John Byrne. He's coming back. Who is that? <laughs> like he he's coming back. Um, and with more specifically Punisher, you he is a very brutal character. So you know you would want that to be yeah. Like you know, especially what's called. I only watched like the first season of the Punisher show, mm-hmm. but he was great. But I watched all of Daredevil. Yeah. He was great, yeah. there, especially his acting performance when he was in the courtroom. He said, mm-hmm. I did it because I liked it. Yeah, like, yeah, oh exactly. God, like, this guy is terrifying. Exactly. Like, 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 he had, like, all he had to do was go up there and plead insanity, and we would have been fine. But no, he he straight up said he loved being that brutal, yeah, it, which I can't crazy. wait to see him in Marvel, especially if we got to see Daredevil yes, in No Way did. Home. Yep, yeah, that was yep, sweet. That I was, was like, beautiful. Yeah, he caught the break like, without mm-hmm. him looking. He's like, how would you do this? Like, I'm a really great lawyer. Can we, let me, let's, <laughs> let's take, like, I want to say something about No Way Home, man. No Way Home, I just want to say my favorite scene in that movie was when Peter got mad when he was fighting Green Goblin. Oh, yeah. And then he put the dent in the bronze shield. Beautiful scene. Like, I, I just wanted to make that known because that shows from, the, like, oh, man, maybe so happy. That is Spider-Man when he's angry. Yeah. I think my favorite scene in that movie is when uh, they're back in Happy's apartment. Mm-hmm. And he's, like, curing all of them. Like, you know, he helped Dr. Octopus. Yep. He's yep. helping uh, Electro, Sandman, all of them. And his spidey senses start tingling, but he can't yes. tell why. And he looks at Green Goblin, and he shoots the web at him. And then all of a sudden, Willem Dafoe, like, he completely drops, like, the Harry Oz or uh, Norman Osborn act. Mm-hmm. And he goes full Green Goblin. That guy, he came into the Marvel Cinematic, Cinematic Universe to drop one of the most terrifying performances of all time. I love it. I got chills at that point. Oh, part. he's I a great chills. actor. Though. Yeah. He's a great actor. I love him. He Just in general, because I recently watched The Lighthouse with him, him and Robert mm-hmm. Pattinson. Mm-hmm. Great movie. He was terrifying in that, too. Yeah. So it was Robert Pattinson is also a very underrated actor. Oh, yeah. I yeah. I started getting more into him after uh, The Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, like, um, Marvel, I actually feel like Marvel could be going on an incline now, possibly. We'll see how these things, how these upcoming projects should be coming out. Uh, we have Guardians coming out. I'm very excited for that. But yeah, the trailer uh, looked great for that. Oh, it looked. Great. It, I know there's going to be some heart wrenching. Especially movie. James Gunn. I love him as a director, great especially director. what he did with the Suicide Squad for yep. DC. Yeah. I like that a lot. I liked it better than the first Suicide Squad, to be honest. With you. I also 100%. liked in that movie how even though like they were the main characters. Mm-hmm. How their lives couldn't like couldn't have meant like anything. It felt very Tarantino-ish, yeah. which I liked a lot. Yeah. So because Tarantino is one of my favorite directors, mm-hmm. but uh, he actually just released announced yes last night he's making a new movie, his tenth oh. and final film. Oh, final. So yeah, I can't wait. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, Marvel. We'll we'll see how the rest goes. To be honest, um, now. Yeah. DC, though, oh, is yeah. definitely on the up and up. Between oh, the Batman, the Suicide Squad, especially with the Flash movie coming out yep. and the Penguin show. I've heard Flash. It's I've heard it was good. I, I heard, heard it, it, the trailer looks amazing. Like, don't get me wrong, Ezra Miller's... He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't think he's staying against the Flash. You know, yeah. I, I let's actually get into that for a second. Yeah. Uh, like the Flash, you know. Um, I... The trailer, we saw the trailer, uh, the Super Bowl trailer, like the full thing. Mm-hmm. I... It looked so good. I, I will say, I can't though. Wait to see General Zod again. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I will say, though, I do understand that people don't want to see the movie because of the things Ezra Miller's done. We're not necessarily going to go right, go especially into that, but just know, yeah, like, not he's done some bad things. At all. He, yeah. Don't get me wrong. He's still a horrible person. Don't mean he can't make a good movie, though. Yeah. No. And, like, um, you know, he's just. I'm, I am I am happy that he's not being the Flash anymore because he has caused too many problems for him to be the Flash. Yeah. Um, but I can say that if the movie is good, then I will give that credit. Yeah. But yeah. I hope they did with this movie, since James Gunn is restoring the entire DC universe. Mm-hmm. I hope that this movie leads into that universe. Yes, it will. Yeah. It, okay. Yes, well, he has yeah, confirmed that. Because I know James Gunn, he said about with the Batman 2, uh, mm-hmm. that's going to be called his Elseworlds project. He's yep. not going to touch that yep. at all. He's going to let Matt Reeves have full creativity with that. That's which perfect. I can't, cause He's the, great. He's, <laughs> he's, he's great. great. Dude, the first Batman, yeah, personally, I liked it better than The Dark Knight. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Heath Ledger's performance in The Dark Knight is Joker. Oh, wonderful. It's, it's hard. It's very, very hard very to top Very hard to top that. that. But uh, Christian Bale's Batman, I also liked. Christian Bale's Bruce Wayne, I liked. But Robert mm-hmm. Pattinson, to see a Batman who's still so affected by his parents' death yep. to this so day. So young, because that's young. Yeah, you this know. is like his second year. His yeah, second year being exactly. Batman. I love how he makes mistakes. Like when he's jumping off the GCP, the yep, other cops are yep. chasing him. And then he, he like. pulls his wing to it, but he screws up. He almost yeah. dies in the process. Yeah, exactly. But uh, he gets up and he walks, because that's just Batman. That's it. Yeah, that's Batman. Yeah. You know, um, so I love how he still learned from his mistakes. Yeah, I love that. And James Gunn, I. I think that it is 
great that he's taking over. I, mm-hmm. I, I really do. I got high hopes, especially oh, 100%. Uh, his first phase, he announces called Gods and Monsters. Yes. Yeah. He is one of us. That is the <laughs> biggest thing. He is one of us. He's yeah. a nerd. He's read comics. His Superman and Zack Snyder Superman are very different on what their vision is, which I will. Zack Snyder Superman is still good. Henry Cavill is. He's oh, him. He, he literally looks like he was born to play Superman. Exactly. Yeah. He's him. And James Gunn said he can come back. But James Gunn. His plans, he, if some of you don't know, he actually put out the slate for Gods and Monsters. Um, so we have like Supergirl, Superman, Batman, Brave and the Bold. Booster, uh, Booster Gold show. Yep, That's yep. in one swamp thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to remember the other ones. Um, uh, The Authority and it's some other like kind of group, but they're kind of just like there, you know, yeah. but like it'll be cool. Yeah. Um, Still gonna watch it. Yeah, exactly. Um, Superman with the new Superman coming, it'll be like him kind of just like still growing to be a great hero that he is. And Batman, Brave and the Bull. Yep. It's with it'll the, be yeah, Damien. Damien. Yep. So, so we'll I have hope Jason we get to see Todd. the whole like yeah. the entire exactly. like uh, Batman family, especially at Red Hood. I would love to see a live action Red Hood. Oh, 100%. easily my favorite member in the entire Bat family. Really? Mine's it's, mine's is Nightwing. No, yeah. No uh, question. It's always between him and Nightwing. Oh yeah. But ever since I played Batman Arkham Knight, mm. to see that like after like yeah. you know, the main villain when Arkham Knight takes off his mask, that was crazy. Jason Todd. Mm. I was like, I was geez. no, I, I, thought, was I was so heartbroken, especially when you learned his entire backstory yeah. about what Joker did to him and how he basically tortured him for, for years on end. Yeah, that was the first and time I actually learned about his origin. Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, same. I didn't know too much about mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I did not know too much about it. And I was like, wow, I took on this and you saw like the burnt in jail. Yep. I was like, yep. oh no, I'm like, poor Jason. And he was like, you left me to die. I was like, poor guy just has like so, so much sad. hate and sadness in his heart. Mm-hmm. Like, it was hard not to feel for him, but it was nice to see him come back yeah. at the end and take out Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. And you know, how about Batman? Again? Exactly. It's I'm I'm very excited, and like it's good that James Gunn is doing this because, as we've seen, he's he did Guardians, um, the second one he did Suicide Squad, and Peacemaker. Um, he is okay. he's great. You know, Peacemaker is so funny. And what's good about the fact that he's with DC now is he has free reigns to do anything pretty much yeah because marvel you know they still have their restrictions obviously but the thing is about how dc is dc has more um brutal characters you could say Mm -hmm. so it's good that he has free range to do all these things um because a lot of the things that he wants to do i don't really think he will be able to do it as well with marvel like the supergirl um they're going with the storyline where like a lot of her people on krypton just uh they died in front of her eyes, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, so like she's kind of Supergirl's angry. older than Superman, but yes, the thing is. is, she got caught in like that little time loop in mm-hmm. space, yep. which allowed Superman to go to Earth and age so much yep. like, after her. Even exactly. though technically, Supergirl is older than yeah. Superman. I tend to forget that. It's so funny. Yeah, that's so, why the only reason I know that because I was just uh, I was just replaying the story for Injustice too. Yeah, because I got back into like Good those story. games like that, mm-hmm. Mortal Kombat, and. Uh, and I was like, oh yeah, like I, I totally forgot that. Yeah, that's a yeah. great. That's it's so good. To, that that was a good game actually. I, yeah. I, I enjoy that story. That's probably one of my favorite um, comic lines. Um, I I will say that with Matt Reeves Batman, we obviously got announced that the second one was coming. I am hoping. I really am hoping that Scarecrow is one of the big bads in the movie because of the fact that. He kind of got robbed in the Dark Knight. I'm not gonna lie, it's, Scarecrow. Villain. Yeah, Don't it's me that. Of Killian Murphy. Yeah, it's but. that, and the fact that how Matt Reeves is doing it, as we've yeah. seen, is like thriller action. Yeah. You know, you have those dark moments like where the city of exact, fear, like engulfed exactly. and scared, like like how Batman Arkham Knight. Exactly. Is, that'd, be, that'd be crazy, especially like the the way he can capture his cinematography, like how mm-hmm. he did with the first Batman. That would be insane. But who I'm hoping for. Uh, since it's following like the like, storyline, how like because uh, Matt Reeves said he doesn't want to hop like right into Batman's like rogue like uh, rogue gallery. Right, right. Who I'm hoping for since they're talking about how the city's corrupt and mm-hmm. how you know like Falcone like uh, orchestrated everything throughout yeah. the years. How he's technically been the mayor without being the mayor. Yep. I hope they introduce the Court of Owls. Oh, hundred percent. Oh my, to see because especially with Robert Pattinson's Batman, who's, who's brutal in his fighting. Like I said, how he's still affected by his parents' death, mm-hmm. but to see him fight, especially with more skill and more knowledge, say like they fast forward like two years, like 
year four of being the Batman. Yep. Yep. Obviously, he's going to start heading more into his prime years of Batman. Mm -hmm. To see him in the town go toe to toe <laughs> would be absolutely mind blowing. Oh, I agree. I, I yeah, I agree. I, here's the thing though. Um, Court of Owls, as we know, that they are the reason why um, Bruce's parents were killed, right? And the problem is Matt Reeves made it so they made it that uh, it was Falcone that said that got them killed, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, they don't necessarily have to do that <coughs> still, even if they want to bring in the Court of Owls. Um, but like that's just that just feels like a big part. But obviously they can still do Court of Owls. I think that'll still be great. They run the city. So that's how it works. Like yeah. they run Gotham. Like they're like the Illuminati of Gotham. Yeah. You know? And they can do it. I, I, I think that this franchise has so a much lot of, potential. It has so much potential, yeah. Especially with that. Uh there's another thing I wanted to say. Not, but who I mainly will think be the villain, even though like we want you want Scarecrow, I want Court of Owls. Mm -hmm. I'm putting my money on Hush. It's gonna be really, like, yeah. Because uh, when I was rewatching the movies, it says that when uh, when Riddler released articles, yep. it says Hush on there, and yep. it talks about Th uh, Tom Elliott's father. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom Elliott is is Hush. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking mainly Hush. He finds out, you know, that Bruce Wayne's parents, uh, or that Bruce Wayne's dad, Thomas, mm -hmm. got his dad killed. Yep. Uh, because he was a journalist reporting on his mother, how she spent her time in Arkham, yep. and you know, he's going to take on the personality you know, of Hush and try mm -hmm. to reconstruct his face since he's a surgeon yeah. to look like Bruce Wayne. Yeah. So that's why I think it may be Hush. But I'm really hoping for Court of Owls. Mr. Freeze would be good, too. That would be good. I don't know how they do that, to be honest. Yeah, That'd know. be kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. Mm, we got we got uh, the Venom for Bane um, teased a little bit when he used it on himself uh, when he was like, Oh yeah, when you know he was down about, before he yeah. took the, when he took that shotgun blast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that was Venom. Yeah, that was that was the Venom that that seemed like the Venom that Bane used because he was like he was like amped up. Yeah, know? he was amped. He's like, ah. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Um, being that bad guy. Um, but actually, now that you bring that up, using Hush, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I can 100 percent see, see that. It, I'd yeah. be with it. I'd be with it. Also, I don't. Did you watch the deleted scene with uh, the Joker? Oh man. Oh my I, god. Yeah. That. He looks so terrifying. good, he so looks good. Because he generally just looks like a Joker, who's, yeah. who's had an entire bad life. It kind of makes you feel for him. He looks like Arkham Joker, like yeah. with all the you know all the yeah, scars yeah. and all that. Yeah. Because um, if any of you don't know, this Joker that's supposed to be like the um, main Joker in the Matt Reeves universe is the person who played not King of um, in Eternals. I didn't watch that. Oh, Eternals man. Uh, what was I, uh, Barry Keoghan is his name. Yeah. You know that. He played the mind control guy. I, I'm blanking on the name. Yeah. Um, I he was It was great. I mean, I, I wish they put the deleted scene in because I really liked when he was like, you think they deserve it? And, like, he started laughing. Like, like that was... That was terrifying. Oh, yeah. yeah that was good. That was bummer. Matt Reeves was going to put it in, but he said he didn't want his... Uh, he didn't want the Joker's performance to shell the Riddlers. That is so Which fair. makes sense. Yeah. Which I, I would have done. Which I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> oh, my God. You see the Joker? No one's been talking about poor Paul Dane. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Got robbed. That's fair. That's fair. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Um, yeah, I think I think Marvel and DC, I think there's uh, I think there's more potential for DC than Marvel at the moment. Um, but Marvel can de definitely still bring it up, given the fact that their fan base is so up there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's our second topic. I know that one's pretty long, but obviously there's a lot to talk about yeah, there. There's, yeah, there's a lot to talk about. So, topic three, uh, The Last of Us just mm -hmm. ended. Yeah, it did. For me, The Last of Us is easily my top three in favorite games. Yeah. The story was amazing. It was beautiful. beautiful. One of the few games that generally got me emotionally attached to the characters, and especially seeing that ending in the game, mm -hmm. was, was wow. To see Joel do all that just to rescue Ellie. Yeah. He literally, he destroyed human, mankind. Yeah. Mankind had one chance at coming back from a zombie apocalypse because of Ellie since she was the cure. Mm -hmm. And Joel robbed everybody of that. Because, yeah. like, it was kind of selfish of him. I'm not going to lie. It was selfish, but, you know, dad instinct kicked in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, I, I really do like that the show, for the most part, they stayed true 
to, to the, the game. game. Don't get me wrong. They, they left out some certain parts. Like, I would have loved to see Ellie and Bill interact. Because mm -hmm. in the games, yeah. that was one of the funniest yeah, parts. They're really going through funny. the town, trying to get yeah. through the car battery, going yeah. through the hordes of infected. <laughs> and Ellie's just, you know, screwing around with Bill. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's hilarious. It, it was it's, great. Yeah, it's it so great. funny. But they did. They still did good with it, though. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, like I said, they mostly stay to the game, but they still change some things, yeah. which I do appreciate. You know, a nice change of change. Yeah. You know? You know, it gives something new for the people who've already played the game. You know, exactly. it's, it's, like, exactly. it's like new content. Like uh, that episode with Bill and Frank. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I wish they did with uh, like Ellie and Bill meeting, but I like how we got to know Frank because in the game, yeah. we never got to meet Frank. It's only when we were traveling across the town exactly. and we got when cut off by the zombies and you get in the house. And, and you're like, you oh see, man, he's dead. Yeah, you see yeah. Frank's dead body. You yeah. see the leather. And uh, it was just like, wow, like, Who's, who's Frank? Who cares? Yeah, exactly. But, but now they went into it for getting to show. know him, it was like, it's sad not knowing. Mm -hmm. especially. And I like how they changed his fate in the show, too. Yeah, yeah. Except both their fates. Yeah, is, it was, it was, it was very nice. beautiful. Um, I, I I think that The Last of Us is, is uh, by the way, it's going to be like a really short topic. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just get final thoughts out real quick. I think The Last of Us is what a adaptation to a video game should be mm -hmm. because they did really well with it. HBO does pretty good with their shows and we should be I, I hope this inspires other people to make more um, like we got the God of War show yep coming God of War is coming up yeah. which I think hope, Amazon's doing it they do pretty good with their shows yeah. though I believe in it um, that's I don't know if you can top it, the God of War game so I remember yeah, my no, first can, time playing no God question. of War seeing Balder pulled up and yep. you see a more calm collective Kratos yeah was terrifying. It's like, wow, you never seen like Kratos as calm and collective. Right. And he's like, leave my home. And then you just, it's literally the first like 10 minutes of the game and you're already fighting one of the Aesir gods. I, huh. was, I love oh that game. I, my favorite, I love when, when he was like, watch your <laughs> tone. Boy, I was like, oh my god, you're yeah, crazy. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh, yeah. I'm but, excited for that. Yeah. No, or when, uh, I think my favorite part in the first game is when you jump off the mountain. And then trying to rescue his boulder, just yep, grab the tray. Yep. And you guys are going back to Asgard. And yep. you thought you were going to be able to go back to Asgard. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I'm like, this is him. Like, this is where you go to Asgard and fight all the guys. I'm like, this is where we see Thor, Hela, Odin. Yep. I'm like, this is going to be amazing. And mm -hmm. like, it's just like the tension in that scene, dude, yeah. was, was great. And Odin's Raven, too, was, was dope. Yeah. And Helheim, was, it was so sweet. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of just my thoughts on Last of Us and like what's going on with that. What, yeah. what are your final thoughts on that? Uh, for me, I, like I said, obviously wasn't as good as the game. Uh, yeah, it wasn't as good as the game. I wish they did 12 episodes. Maybe spend another episode focusing on David's group. Mm -hmm. And then maybe another episode uh, seeing Joel and Ellie's relationship develop a little bit more. But still, in the end, I felt that emotional connect connection to see yep. what Joel did, how he runs through an entire hospital full of militia soldiers mm -hmm. just to save a girl who reminded him so much of his daughter, someone yeah. who he loved and lost, yep. just so he wouldn't go through that pain again. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can't wait for season two. It's going to be great, but let's get into the next topic. We got, we don't got time. Yeah, we don't, we don't got time. <laughs> we though. don't got time. All right, everybody. All right. Um, that's our first episode of Culturescape. A nice little 30 minutes. Um, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, the episodes will be a bit longer for the next few episodes. We just wanted to give you a little taste of what's supposed to be going on. Our feet in the water. Exactly. You know, yep. Just it, dipping yeah. your little toes in, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that is going to be our episode. Um, I'm your host, Kay. This is Montia, and, you know, we'll catch you all later, Nova. Peace out, Nova.